scaffolding. Scaffolding is a very hard work. For a middle sized business building, it takes around one week, three workers, and 30,000 euro to assemble it. Scaffolding is also very dangerous work. In Germany alone, every year, more than 7,000 people get injured during scaffolding assembly. From them, around 500 get pensions, and like each pension has an amount of 2 and 2.4 million euro. Scaffolding is also very inefficient work. In this animation, you can see a typical scaffolding disassembly process. During this process, you see one person on the top uh, disassembling parts and passing it to his co-workers. Uh, as you can see here, there are five workers, but 70% of all logistic processes is done only by one person. In addition, we have found out that this person, like 80% of his time, does walking, which is totally unnecessary during the scaffolding disassembly. And now you'll see the normal speed, how it's usually done. So our solution is to automate scaffolding assembly industry. Our initial concept was to use swarm robotics, where we have simple models, where each model can do simple thing, three simple things like grabbing the bar, going around the bar, going up and down. And when they are together, they can do more complex things, such as uh, carrying parts and also assembling and disassembling them. Uh, as it was our initial concept, and we went further, we currently working on other concept, which is uh, taking into account uh, realities of uh, scaffolding systems. Unfortunately, we cannot show it as we plan to plan it soon, like in January 2017. Uh, our initial market is Germany, with more than 2 billion euro per year turnover, and this market is growing. Uh, our competitors are presented by two categories. Uh, it's a manual assembly and mechanized assembly, where mechanized assembly can be divided in construction lifts, rope lifts, and rope pulleys. For, uh, for our users, there are two most important considerations, safety and cost. Uh, if you're talking about manual assembly, it's quite inexpensive, however, it's unsafe. Uh, if you're talking about mechanized assembly, uh, it's quite safe, however, it's expensive. In Kiwaza, we offer low cost and high safety level solution. By using our system, we are able to reduce the number of scaffolding workers on site. By doing that, we are estimating of a saving of cost around like 24%. Because we, have, we uh, optimize uh, logistic processes, we estimate that around 43% of time we can save by using our system. All of this brings higher safety, speed, and flexibility. Uh, we have two business models in mind as of right now. Uh, first one will be to provide services uh, to scaffolding assemblers on a project basis. And second one will be to provide our system to scaffolding assemblers by giving them to use it autonomously. In both cases, we would like to use uh, distribution channels of scaffolding producers, as they are big companies, which are well known in the market. Uh, this is our initial prototype. Uh, it could uh, grab the bar, go around the bar, and go up and down. However, as we proved that the like, real concept which needs to be applied in the market needs to be more complicated, like a bit different. We are also working on a current prototype, but we also cannot show it, unfortunately, as we plan to pattern it. Um, we have started in April this year, and we have achieved a lot since then. We have uh, participated in Baum Affair uh, in here in Munich. We have verified our concept there that actually scaffolding automation makes, makes sense. We have uh, done two pitch competitions, which one was, was in Austria, another one was in Munich. Uh, we also got our office at Unternehmertum. It's an innovation center for entrepreneurship at Technical University of Munich. Uh, our improvement can be comprised like in three categories, hardware, software, and business. Currently, we are working on our uh, like prototype for our new concept. Next plan is to develop industrial prototype. At the same time, we do um, market research. We're still working on it. And we started to meeting uh, the biggest scaffolding companies in Germany and in the world. It's like the same, like biggest companies are in Germany since June of this year. The next plan will be to start with a pilot project and um, following operation setup. We got a lot of support. Uh, we are based from Technical University of Munich. We have a lot of connections with different chairs there, uh, like uh, chair for uh, 
for bio-resilient and bio-robotic, which is uh, construction robotics, uh, information systems, um, metal, metal construction chair. Uh, our main supporters are Unternehmertum, Center for Innovations at the Technical University of Munich. We also have an access to high technology a workshop at Unternehmertum, which is called Makerspace, probably you've heard about that. And we're also part of the Tech Talents program there. Uh, in our team, we have everything we need. We have six persons. Uh, two of us have studied construction, uh, robotics and construction with backgrounds in civil engineering and automation engineering. We have two software engineers, one space engineer from Kazakhstan, and one business person. Uh, we, we have all we need, we, and we are trying to achieve our goal. Uh, we are Kivaza, and we are assembling the future. In case if you would like to know more or have any questions, please free contact me. Are there any questions from the jury? Yes? Can you give um, at least a, s a small indication about what materials are you using in these grippers? I'm very curious. Sure. Um, like for a gripping mechanism, we're using like normal materials as you use for every gripper. So like. We haven't started with gripper design yet. It's actually, we have one student who will do her master thesis about uh, gripper development. It will start in November, mm -hmm. so it's just us right now. So, but um, this is, at the same time, I, because of that, I don't know a lot about grippers yet. However, uh, at, the like at the beginning stage, we could use just normal grippers that I use in the industry. So it's not, it's not a crucial part, I think, for our development. And, and, and uh, a bit about perhaps um, how to control, how, how do you control s such a unit individually? Yeah, sure. Um, so um, it's important uh, to outline that our development is made out of many steps. So, so right now we have identified five steps and first thing with which we will uh, enter the market will be semi-automation. In this case uh, we will uh, only provide logistics of parts. So in like, and by going gradually, we will achieve the full automation. This is our goal. So like, as of right now, we focus on the same automation. So by doing that, um, we have generally models programmed in the way that you, it's like, it's, it's a bit hard to explain because without showing uh, more like other presentations that we have for big companies. So it's like, uh, they are pre-programmed, let's say, and uh, you have, in the system, you have a plan of scaffolding, and according to the plan, it, it already can move to position which it needs, so this is like how it needs to be so, done. So, uh, am I right in guessing that there is some microcontroller inside? Ah, uh, yeah, this is what you're asking for, for sure. We are using, uh, right now, we have a support from Intel, we have uh, Edison's, um, like we have them actually for free because it's like we are a part of the Tech Talents program, and Intel um, provides some parts for us, so it's like, we have now Edison's for free, and that's what we are doing. On okay, are there any other questions? Yes? The grabbers do only give the bars to the top, uh, or put it down. Yeah, exactly. Like, at they first can, stage... They can put it in the right way on. Right now, no. Okay. But uh, with a, like further development, we plan that it will, will be possible. Like according to our plan, this will be around like 2022. However, like at first stage, we are like aiming now. It will be only logistic processes. So in this case, you only we are talking about transport of parts. You don't have an assembly. Okay. Do you think of any other application than scaffolding for those uh, robots that uh, will carry parts? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we actually, our initial idea was a full automation of construction site. However, it will be too complex to make it like as a market entry. So we have we have decided to do something more simpler, like it will be scaffolding. And we wanted to do sca like full scaffolding automation first. However, it wasn't impossible to do it as well really fast. So we now we are focusing on uh, semi-automation. However, there are like various application possibilities such as like space industry, uh, maintenance, um, and like transport of like light weight parts. So uh, actually we have one student doing her master thesis on this uh, topic now. And like she just started, so we kind of, uh, we are looking forward for results. We think that there are a lot of possibilities to apply it. 
questions from the audience? No? Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice project. I wish you a lot of luck.